everyone, and welcome to our third monthly meeting of the Students' Cracker Coalition, which of course is short for Combating Racism and Creating Kinder Ethnic Relations. We, the Crackers, are determined to bridge the gap that was created so many years ago by slavery, and we will finally bring justice and equality to black people. So sorry to interrupt, I just have one quick thing. Okay. I don't think we should use the term black people because categorizing someone based on the color of their skin is part of the propagation of institutionalized racism in the first place, and isn't that what we're trying to abolish? She makes a perfectly good point. However, I dated a black guy once, and he totally said it was okay for me to call him black. Well, regardless, I don't see people based on the color of their skin, so I don't think we should use the term black people because to me, they're just people. Very good. Moving forward, I can't help but notice that attendance is down from last month. At the end of our last meeting, we were all assigned to bring in one black friend. The purpose of this was to befriend the people that were trying to help as well as increase membership. So how did we do? As I said, I refuse to see people based on the color of their skin, so I might have lots of these black friends. I just wouldn't know which ones they are. Well. I dated a black guy once, so I totally have black friends, but she was busy tonight. Well, that's okay. We can work with that. I think that the trick is going to be we need to make the Cracker Coalition more exciting. Oh, oh okay. What if, we, what if we gave away free stuff like um, Cracker hats or Cracker keychains or, or Cracker crackers? Or we could host a cookout. The best way to entice new membership? is with free food. Very good idea. I think a cookout is the perfect way to reach the community as well as spread our message of love and equality. Plus, I make a mean potato salad. I'll bring the vegan burgers. Oh, and I'll bring the fried chicken. <gasps> you can't serve fried chicken to black people. Yeah, that's completely racist. Okay, I'm totally not a racist. I dated a black guy once and he ate fried chicken all the time. No, you cannot serve fried chicken to black people. For centuries, black people have Why been subjugated. Been what are you talking about? They love fried chicken and it's everything part of their roots. Oh, you're gonna deny them watermelon? Oh, no, no, no. They love fried chicken. It's part of their roots. They love it. They love it. They love But they love the watermelon and the fried chicken. All right, everyone. I think that about wraps it up for today. Next month, we will learn simple phrases in Swahili so that we can connect with our African brothers and sisters who are new to this country. Meeting adjourned. Together. And don't forget to leave a tip